It happened again. Another black child punished because of a hairstyle. This week it happened to a student in a Louisiana Catholic school. Last week it was a private Christian school in Florida. There's an ugly history attached to stories like this, so why is it continuing to happen today? Adrian Broaddus untangles the controversy. The first day of school ended with tears for this little girl. Her name is Faith. I don't want this to happen. Yes, you do. School administrators said her braided hair extensions violated school rules. What's wrong with her hair? You hear her mother ask, what is wrong with her hair? What does Faith's hair have to do with learning? Her mom said she has worn her hair in braids to Christ the King Elementary School, where she pays tuition for two years. This video now viewed more than two million times, sparking outrage. Turns out, over the summer, the school changed its dress code policy, which says in part, no wigs, weaves, or extensions allowed. Only natural hair. Hold up, is this a black code or a dress code policy? This dress code is so specific, it targets the types of protective styles worn by black women. Indeed, hair is peppered with so many messages. And for black women, it has the power to dictate how others treat us. While this school, alleging Christ is at its center excludes, branches of the U.S. military have taken steps to be inclusive. In July, we told you, the U.S. Navy announced it changed its grooming policy, now allowing women to wear ponytails and braids. The Army, a similar protocol. Let's get to the root of the problem. Some people show implicit bias when it comes to black women and their hair. White women are rarely punished or marginalized because of how they wear their hair. Black women and men shouldn't be penalized either. But this isn't the first time a black person's hair has been the crux of controversy on this show. Black women, oh, we come in all shapes and sizes. And the texture of our hair, it's just as diverse. But there's a common thread among us. We all have a story. Some of us have one, two, or three linked to a negative hair experience. He said, this is an animal that I cannot tame. And I had asked him so black girls can't come here. He stated, well, this is not the 1950s or 60s where we can just put up a sign. That stylist was fired. A year later, a Minnetonka High School student shared her truth. I had beautiful ringlets growing up. I don't know why, but I felt prettier with straight hair. And earlier this summer, the runner up to Miss Universe was praised for wearing her natural hair but she admits. I did not like my hair because one, I got teased about it. I just wanted to process my hair so badly. I'm fed up with grooming standards that mandate we suppress our cultural roots and identity. Blacks and all people should be judged by performance and perhaps their innovative ideas. We are not our hair. An important story. Several media outlets have reached out to the school for comment, but the school has not responded.